Welcome to another how-to video. I'm Ditech, CTO DVS, and today we're going to take a look at Hike Connect and IMS 4200 in the web browser and image encryption. A lot of people call us and they tell us about when they add it to IMS 4200 or on the app when they try and add it to another app or web browse into the unit externally or even internally, they don't get a live view image. So, by default, this is why. So, if we take the app, I'm going to show you what the video and image, image encryption is. So now, this is the device in question, Hike Connect, standard, we all know that. I can select the camera and you can live view it. So, if you press the three dot button there where you've got your alarm notification, it's off, but you've got the video and image encryption. So I can, of course, turn that off, click OK. Now I'll get an email where I have to put a code in, so either a text message or an email to the registered account where I can put a code in and it will disable that. So it stops people disabling the image and video encryption unless you really want it um, disabled because you have to authenticate it. So we're going to leave that on and I'm going to show you what that causes if you leave it on and how to overcome it. So two ways of overcoming this. You can either do it through the app or if you walk with me, I'm here on my own again, as you can tell. Always the first one in, always the last one out. So we'll go into the demo room. So this is the NVR in question. So if I go into system, network, advanced platform access i can turn the enable stream encryption off there and there's my verification code you can also unbind it now so on the latest firmware when it, if instead of sending us the serial code um of the unit and us getting hike vision to unbind the account so you can add it to a new hike vision account log into the recorder and just unbind it you can add it to a new hike vision at uh, hike connect account that's a really handy function we've had that on the last couple of firmwares so you can either turn it off there, but if you want to leave um, the function on, so it becomes uh, the video is encrypted, I will show you the issues you get and how to overcome them on the IMS 4200 and the web browser. So just take a quick look at this again, and the platform access, you can see the verification code there. So we'll remember that. And now I will go and show you on the PC. See you in two toodles. Okay, now you join me in the comfort of my own chair at my PC so I can show you the web browser and the IMS 4200 function and why it won't work. First of all, please don't forget to like and then subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll get notified of any live content as it happens. And you can comment, share, like, delete, unfollow, I don't care what you do, but make sure you subscribe and follow what we do. We're trying to educate and further the knowledge in this industry. And secondly, thanks to Seagate for providing this lovely body warmer and um, they're a really great, great sponsor of ours they get on board so uh, thank you Seagate and thank you to all of you who keep liking following sharing commenting and uh, keep coming up to me and telling me how good the videos are that's really 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 valued feedback and don't forget subscribe to PewDiePie so web browse into it if we go now this is the unit we showed you in the demo room where the video uh, stream encryption is enabled so if I try and view a video live view what you'll get is that notification in the corner saying the stream is encrypted. Now, if I go into configuration and then under platform access and the uh, network settings, I don't get an option to turn the stream encryption off through the web browser. All I can do is enable Hi Connect and obviously uh, see the stream encryption key, but I can't turn the stream encryption off. What I can do is under local, under encryption key, I can type the code in. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F. Hit save. Now, if I go to live view, and then select the camera, there we go. Now it works. If I select all of them, they will all come on. So, that's a really, really simple way to fix that issue when you're on a web browser. 
we'll wait for my PC to see if it can catch up. Okay, so you can see that enabling that key has enabled the live view playback export will all be fine now because uh, we've overcome the stream encryption. So we've left it on, so it's still much more secure, but we've just enabled the key in the web browser. So that's nice and simple, so you can follow that. So what we will do now is close that down. And now move for IMS 4200 across. Again, I've added the device already. This is the device on the left hand side. If I double click on there, you'll get the same issue. The stream encryption key is invalid. So on IMS 4200, it's a slightly different way. You go into device management and the group under the recorder here, under encoding channel, and you'll see all of the channels there. Click on the first one, click modify, and you'll see the stream key there. So I can go A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, I can copy parameters to all of the others, or I can just click on OK, and I'll just do it on all of them. Let me get them room. All of them, click OK, click OK. So now I've copied to all of them like that, and you can do it individually or all of them in together. Now, if I go back to main view, get rid of the device manager, go back to main view, double click on the device. There we go, so it's loaded all of the images. That's a really, really simple way to overcome the stream encryption while leaving it on. So, IMS4200 on the web browser, both supported for the stream encryption key, or you can do as most people do and just turn it off. It's entirely up to you. But I thought I'd just walk you through that very, very simple process and give you a nice, easy video to watch. Keep watching. Like I said, in the next few weeks, we've got some very, very nice, interesting videos. We've got a new AMPR camera, a new high-end AMPR camera, professional traffic solution camera. We've got the new... IVMS 4200 Eco Workstation, we've got some new access control, we've got some new cameras, the new G1s coming in, we've got a new white light PTZ, a new body cam, um, lots of stuff. So keep watching, keep sharing, keep commenting, and more importantly, thank you all for following our channel. Have a lovely day, and we'll see you soon. Thanks all.